So Random Man 22 just got released. This is gonna be a very short first impression uh, video. I'm gonna look at the interface, so let's dive into it now. Okay, so here we see the new Random Man 22. So I'm at uh, the Random Man Pixar page here, and yeah, we can see uh, everything new and shiny. So this is gonna be a quick overview, and uh, yeah, so let's dive into it. So what's new here? So um, what what? what's yeah so uh, you can do more live rendering as um, they have uh, said before and you see Pixar Unified that's the new integrator that is looking very promising I believe it's manifold walk if I'm not mistaken yeah performance improvement so I'm gonna do this demonstration on my home computer and it's not the most powerful and I'm also actually recording this so expect some uh, I, I wish I had like more threads but uh, the good thing with Renderman is that in later installments of Renderman 22 series they have promised to uh, support uh, GPU acceleration as well so uh, and I have a really beefy GPU in my machine because it's uh, mainly a Mori computer so let's um, close this one and see so here's Maya 2018.2 I believe so yeah this uh, I just install it and here we see um, the, the new here um, uh, shelf and it kind of looks the same as before but um, some of it have, uh, have changed here um, let's see random man uh, menu looks similar but a little condensed as well so let's first off why don't we just uh, import something let's import my uh, my gatling gun here so we have something familiar uh, let's take a uh, environment ball here let's take in um, yeah so first off let's fire up or actually let's go for the go for the win here so the first thing that i have build support for is to actually put the render at the viewport to render man so let's see what happens so as i said um i just have a few uh, what was it four cores and eight threads so uh, i guess on uh, like a, a more powerful machine this will be even faster but yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of you can actually start to work here in uh, render man on your asset and just see it uh, render here so you see it's it's kind of speedy uh, so this one is very exciting and you see here um, the update speed we have here so let's go here to um, actually here so the, the the new integrator that was talked about is this Pixar unified so we can switch between uh, so this is default it's gonna be like direct lighting it's gonna be the direct as before occlusion obviously uh, path tracer is the old uh, standard one and the VCM and I think I believe uh, Unified is like the best of both worlds. It's gonna take try to be as smart as possible and uh, Take the best approach So I haven't really tried it out uh, So that's gonna come later down when I start my tutorial. So this is just my rundown so here we see uh, yeah, features, so this is how it looks, um, motion blur, this is the new settings, the AOV, they, they changed this quite considerably, so it's going to be interesting. Advanced, it's kind of the, let's see, most of it is as before. Workspace here, here it looks totally different, so this is uh, interesting. Sampling, so yeah, uh, nice compact. Uh, I really liked before it was uh, tabbed all the way but now it's very clear what's Maya what's random man here I like that okay so now here let's try uh, with IPR here instead and see what happens so I guess this is gonna be more suited for my computer um, so yeah but um, it's, it's 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 cool to be able to so to like look into the the viewport and actually get feedback if you uh, have a powerful computer let's put this back and um, let's um, 
just apply a shader on this. So let's let's take the let's see what we have: pixel surfers, lay surfers, marcher, Disney, and yeah. So let's take the this one. So here we see it, and um, yeah, just tweak it here. Put some specular on here, face color. Let's make a mirror out of this or chrome. Let's see. Let's actually see here if I know um, which one is it. Uh, this one, kill it. Let's try and see what type of feedback we get here in the viewport. And it's quite decent actually. So yeah, that that's cool. Let's see here. Let's start to tweak this. So uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, see here. What else do we have? We have uh, the usual here, the usual suspects. The, the the lights is in the same place. We have uh, those lights, portal lights, environment daylight. You can create as usual a uh, geometry light. We have light blockers here, different type of uh, light filters. The shaders. That's the volume, a cloud, obvious and this one is the whole out and let's see so this is gpu caches this one is dynamic rule editor convert textures and preset browser and what's this ah oh, that's diagnostic if i'm not yeah statistics so let's take the preview browser here and just see what let's take something nice here and um, let's let's make this a glass important sign and see Oof, I get a glass uh, Gatling gun in my scene now that's awesome so yeah this is this is awesome cool 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 and uh, I guess let's see what happens if we switch to uh, this so accumulate so i believe also the opacity has changed in the new random man so you can have not just uh, on and off you can have actually have a uh, real opacity oh so manifold walk here we have here we have stuff so this is going to be very interesting to play around with local queue blah blah preset browser that's the the one yeah that's nice so um Let's actually go to uh, the object settings of this one. Let's turn it off and um, see what we have here. Object settings. So ran under the random and tab, I guess. Let's see. Subdivision. Okay, so it, it's more uh, now built in. Before you had to add stuff, but now you can do it on the object here. So le let's say that you want Catmon Clark on this object. Uh, let's set it on to rendering. So yeah, so that that's how it's man managed now as well. Select the geometry. Can I actually... I think, yeah, you can do it on the fly. We can actually test that. So if I take a cube here, seeing if it hap if it works. So let's see. Let's take this cube here and create. Um, let's apply another shader on this one, and let's see now if I now go here onto my uh, subdivision scheme and set it to Catmon Clark. If it becomes a ball, and it does. That's cool. That's cool. It works. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, really cool. So yeah, so yeah, uh, in the in the upcoming uh, episodes here from Meshman Studio, I'm gonna take a look at recreating this uh, project, but using now Renderman 22 because it's out and everyone can follow along after SeaGraph because then the non-commercial is gonna be released as well. So yeah, let let's make a gold. Yes, before I leave this, let's make a gold uh, sphere here out of this. So brass, gold, a sign, important and a sign shader. So oof. here we go. Awesome, awesomeness. 
So yeah, that's um, the first impressions and uh, yeah, it's gonna be more Random Man related stuff coming your way pretty soon. So remember to subscribe to my channel and yeah, see you on the channel. Bye bye.